Hello, my name is Vladimir and I'm a lead trainer for Tomato Elephant Studio. Here's a quick guide how to use Gitpod with Tomato Elephant Studio courses, such as Introduction to Drupal Administration and Introduction to Drupal Development. First, create two accounts. Number one, head to github.com and create an account if you already don't have one. Number two, head to gitpod.io and create the account there by clicking try it for free. Then head to documentation section of Gitpod and download browser extension for your preferred browser. Chrome or Edge or Firefox. Once all accounts are created, open the browser and head to drupalpod.com. It would redirect you to Drupal pod environment. Uh, you will see the Drupal pod button next to the code, second green button. Click open and if all accounts are authenticated, it would start preparing your environment. It would download the containers required, then it would download Drupal environment, then it would install Drupal. Once you see the browser tab on the right hand side, it means your environment is ready. In the terminal on the bottom, you would need to insert a couple of commands to be able to log in into Drupal. First thing is actually opening the browser. In case you would close this accidentally, there are two ways to open your website. Number one, let's click on the ports on the bottom, find the line that says website, and next to URL, you have two options. Clicking on Sphere would open the browser in a new tab. Clicking on Columns would open browser in the same tab. Now to log in, it's pretty simple. Open the browser in the same tab. Click on Terminal. Type ddev. Drush ULI minus L space and then copy your URL without HTTP or HTTPS. Once done, you will get the URL and follow link. Link. Click on it, click on big yellow button open, and you are logged in as an administrator. Couple more comments about gitpod.io. When running gitpod.io, it counts towards your hourly usage. And depending on your subscription, you would either get 10 to between 10 and 50 hours for free every month. If you had to gitpod.io, you would notice that I actually have a number of machines running. You should have only one. Once you finish with your workspace, you can click on three dots and click stop. If you want to restart your environment again, you can click on three dots and click open. Open would head to the environment that you're familiar with. Again, one with the code and with the browser open. It might require a bit of time to get all the containers running. To check your usage, head to git portal.io, use a drop down, and click on the usage. You would see how many credits you consumed out of how many credits you have by clicking view billing. Currently, I have 78% remaining credits for this month. Thank you, and I hope you will enjoy training with the Mata Elephant Studio.